Good morning, everyone. This is Cindy from My Altar Mules, and I am getting ready to make an altar file folder envelope stack and notepad. Uh, so I thought I would make it on camera and um, hope you enjoy it. Now, uh, first of all, let me tell you that it's going to be a um, two-part project. I can only film for 30 minutes, and then it cuts off. So we're going to go to about 29 minutes, if I can keep, keep an eye on it. And um, we're going to construct it with this video and decorate it with the next video. So... Um, here we go. You need a file folder, and I cut it at 10 inches because I really wanted it to be um, long. So it's 10 inches, and then I probably should have gotten one to fold. But um, what you do is you fold into the center, and then you fold into the center, and then you have this and I glued it down I, I, I glued it and um, so we have a flap here okay so and let me give you the dimensions across across it is four and a half inches okay and down it is 11 inches okay so we're gonna start with the front and we're gonna put our paper on um, I got these foil papers oh they're really shining through I got these full foil, foil papers at Michael's and then I got this paper pad with this beautiful soft pink paper in it at um, Walmart. Five dollars, 30 sheets. Can't beat it. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and I cut everything out because it takes me a while to cut. I'm not all that great cutting things out. Let me see here. Looks like we're a little bit foggy there. Let me check and see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm first of all I'm going to glue this down. If I can get my glue going here. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna glue this first page down onto the file folder you want to get a good amount of glue and as with all folders and things like that that we make we want to leave just a little bit of a area so that um, it folds nicely. But on this very first one, we don't have to worry about it. I'm just lining it up and making sure that um, everything's good. And it is. So I'm going to just press this down. I forgot my bone folder. So we're just not going to worry about it. Let me see here. Um, I'll use my ruler for y'all. For those of you that don't have a bone folder, just use your ruler. And you want to um, get this nice and attached. Okay, so that's that's our first piece. And I'll go ahead and show you what we're going to do with the cover. Um, I'm going to attach this um, tag right here 
and we're going to embellish it. We're going to use some little pink flowers. It's going to be very feminine and pretty. And we're going to hang some little dangles off the bottom. We're just going to have a lot of fun with this, okay? Now I'm going to... Wait a minute here. Let me see what's going on. Well, hold on a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to... Have I got that too? Hold on a minute. Let me see what's going on here. It's not... Okay. Um... I am going to have to trim this. I went ahead and glued, and um, this needed to be trimmed. So let me trim this right quick. We're learning as we go here. I didn't do a prototype because it's so involved. I just thought we could make it together as we um, crafted. Okay, let me see if it needs some more glue. I don't I think it's fine. Okay, now it opens up. Okay, and we are going to use this really pretty pink um, paper. Let me find the one that goes with that page. I believe it's right. Yeah, I had them. Of course, I had them all together, and you know how that goes. Okay. Here's the next one, and we're just going to line that up, and I'm going to glue that down. Hope I'm old frame, in frame. I think I am. Hope everyone's doing good today. I've been looking forward to doing this, and I wanted to wait until I could do it on camera. So I just did a little bit of pre-cutting because it just takes so long, and I I don't film in my um, art room. I have to film somewhere else, and I really don't have the room to do a big spread layout while I'm filming. So, um, now I am using Fabri-Tac because it can be moved around, it's forgiving, and I need forgiving. So we're gonna put this piece down, and then I'll show you, we're gonna put a belly band here, and we're gonna put um, a tuck here, and this is that same pa uh, paper, but it has um, ribbons on it. So, um, okay. Then, let me go ahead and um, glue this back where I had to take it apart to um, get that other piece fixed. Okay, there we go. Now, I'll just um, put that down and it'll be gluing itself. Okay, so isn't that beautiful? I didn't know what I was going to do with this paper when I found it. So I bought it, and I've been hoarding it for a while. <laughs> so I thought this would be the time to use it. Okay, now we're going to let me find the correct one to go here. Okay, now we're going to add this page and it doesn't have any particular cutting to it it's just um, an oblong piece of paper yeah this um walmart paper it's a paper pad and you get oh gosh maybe it's 50 sheets or something and there's four or five different um pastel colors in there and it's five dollars I mean, where can you buy 12 by 12 paper pad for $12? I mean, $5. Okay, we're going to line this up. And here again, I've left a, a little gap right here. So it'll fold real nice. Okay. 
right. Now we're gonna turn that one over and then this one goes right here. So I'm going to glue it down. I know this is kind of boring, but I wanted to start from the from the first of it. I I um when I'm watching a video, I like to see um that's the only thing I get bored with is inking. I don't like to watch a bunch of inking. And I'm actually not going to ink any of this because this is, um, it doesn't lend to being inked. Okay. Now, nope, not that one. We've got this one. You really, it's just such a pale pink, but um, with the envelopes against it, it's gonna be really pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna ink this one up. Ink, I'm sorry, <laughs> no, I'm gonna um, glue this ink. I want to thank everyone who um, has subbed to my channel and follow me. It means so much. I don't have a lot of, I don't have any crafting friends, so um, I, that's why I enjoy doing videos so much. And, um... Down, baby. There we go. I, um, I really enjoy them. And I'm trying to build my channel. I think it'll be fun to have a lot of su subscribers like so many of you girls do. It's just kind of Okay, then this one's going to go right here. See, it's very simple. If you just sit down and uh, mark your papers and um, get them cut out, then you can just really, come on, you can just really get to going. And the next, um, I can't wait to start doing the, embellishments. We're really gonna do some pretty things on this. That's why I don't want to start that before um, I want to start out on a brand new video. Okay, move that down just a little bit. Okay, come on. There. Okay, let me press this down. Like I say, you can't hardly tell it's pink. It's so um fine. Okay, then. Oh, I've already done that. Okay, I got a couple of pieces left over. So, here's the front with the foil, and then you open it up, and you've got two pages here um, with the, put a little bit of glue right there, with the pale pink. Pale pink paper. And then you flip it over, and we've got this covered, and then the back. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. And we're gonna put some. We're gonna put. Oh, it's, we're gonna put lots of pretty things. And then I'm gonna put a little piece of lace up in here. 
Okay, let me check my time. 15 minutes, okay. Let's, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and um, put our belly band in. We can do that. And when we start decorating, we'll probably put a pretty little piece of trim down it. Okay, we're going to put that in and line it up. And also, this will give <clears throat> all this time to dry before we start putting things in it. Okay. Now, let's see which one. This is the one. This one is going to go right here. This is a triangle. And um, all I did was cut. I had a, um, I had a six inch square, okay? And I took my cutter and I did, okay, here it is right here, six inch square. And then I, well, it's a little bit long because I wanted it to be long. And then you match it up on the line up there and then you turn this around and you match it on your cutting line right there. Be sure to hold it real good. And then you just cut it and um, you have your tuck spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, put this in. My hand's not as steady as some of you young girls. I watch some of you young girls glue. And you just get this beautiful thin line. And I say, okay, I'm going to do that next time. And hmm, hmm, not so much. The only thing with that is the thinner line of glue you get, um, the, more, the more room you have to put things in. Okay, this is the beginnings of these two pages. And um, this belly band measures um, right at two, well, a little less than two inches. Uh, you can, you can um, make it as um, thick or thin as you would like to. I, you know, I think t around two inches is a good, good Good thing to do. Okay, now we're going to leave this page alone because we are going to make a, a writing journal that's going to go right here. And um, then on the back, we are going to probably just, I may do some stencil, we may do some stenciling back here and then um, put a cup of that. Maybe stencil some flowers and then put a few butterflies. You know, I have to have a butterfly somewhere in all of my work. Okay, now we're going to lay that aside. And uh, 18 minutes. Okay, we got a little bit of time. These are the envelopes. I went ahead and cut them out because it takes, that takes a lot of time. Um... You can get envelope uh, templates at Angela Kerr, K-E-R-R, -R Designs. She has six, she has two listings, and you get three envelopes on each one. And you can trace them off and use um, any paper you want to. And this is what we're going to be using in the kit. I don't mean the kit, in the for our envelopes and um, we can go ahead and start folding some of these up. The easy way to do this is just line, this one's already folded, but just line your ruler up and then just take your finger 
and um, get it lined up, and then just bring bring it up with your fingers and um, burnish it like that. Okay, so this one goes like that. Okay, we'll go ahead and, and glue that one. And you just want to put um, a fine line of glue. Come on, glue. Right here. And right here. Okay. Then you're just going to fold this up, bring these in, and bingo, you got your envelope. And you kind of have to press this for a minute because this is um, heavy cardstock, so um, kind of press it down like that. Okay, this is going to be our first envelope. And um, here's another one. So we're going to take our ruler and you're going to measure up the little notches that you make when you cut it out. And you're going to fold up and you're going to make your crease. Then you're going to come, come here and fold up and make your crease. Turn it around. Line it up. Make your crease. And then this is the flap. And you're going to line it up. There you go. Then you're gonna um, just bring these in. I bet this one needs to be a little straighter. There, bring them in like so. And then you're gonna bring, well, this side. Let me, let me redo this side. Okay, there we go. There, okay. Now you're going to bring them in, fold them, fold them, and fold them. And that one's crooked, so we ain't, <laughs> I must have cut it wrong. Okay, first mistake of the day. Um, okay, let's fold this one. I already had one, so we really didn't need it anyway. You can see me making a mistake. All of us do. Okay, then I'm going to turn this. Burnish it up. Do this one. And this one. Now on this one, you're going to fold them in on the sides. That's a beautiful envelope. Just beautiful. You know, I don't know where I got this. Um, I've been doing this for years upon years. And I have a big file of um, digitals, and I have one that just says envelopes. And um, it could have been a freebie. I'm not exactly sure. But if you go to Angela's site, Angela Kerr, K-E-R-R, -R, designs, you can get those envelopes. And I think there's one in there uh, for this one. And you're going to fold it over. And then you're going to see I didn't quite get it up high enough. Let me do that again. Okay, there we go. And then you're going to fold it over and ah, well, I'm not having too much luck with my envelopes, lady. we go. Just didn't have it quite down far enough. Let me 
get that down. And then I, there's the line. I wasn't quite on the line. And then we want to burnish it. And there you go. We've got another nice, beautiful envelope. This time it's got roses on it. And we're gonna, we're gonna um, play with some of these envelopes too. We're not gonna be able to get um, something in every one of them. Now this is another one that I'm not sure where it came from. Um, I think maybe it was in my envelope stash, but um, she, um, Angela has a pattern for that also. And this is another one of her little patterns. This makes a little small envelope. And um, then we have one more here. I'm just gonna bring it up. Let me check my time. Okay, this is gonna be the last. Um, We'll have everything all lined up, and then we're going to um, start the fun part. I love to decorate. So, we'll get that going. And... Um, I need to get my bone folder. Yep, there we go. Okay. Need to trim that just a little bit. Sometimes people do a little V, and that kind of um, gets them going also. So, um, anyway, yeah. Um, you can, let me tell you right quick. If you want to go ahead and work with your um, your folder, uh, I, you can get that done. And um, then you can get your envelopes done. And you can go ahead and put your belly band in and your, um, your uh, side tuck here. And then you can go ahead and collect some things for the front. Here's what I'm going to do. I've got some of these envelope, these um, tags. Uh, they're extra long. I got them at my scrapbook shop before it closed. And um, I'm, going, I'm going to, this is another envelope on Angela's site. And um, I'm going to put it right there. And then the tag is going to slide in like so. And uh, we're going to put the um, roses. And we're going to put a big pretty bow up there. We're going to come down here and um, get your grommets, your eyelets, and your crocodile. We're going to do that. And if you've got any sequins or pearls, um, get those. And um, you can go ahead and um, do your envelopes. Um, you can, I, I did, I think I did seven. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how many we can get in there, but once we get going, we can see. And um, we'll know just how many we can do. Um, and then we're actually going to... Um, I'm going to fix it where uh, we can tie a ribbon. I'm, I'm going to think about, think about that. We may do a grommet here. Let's see. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. But um, ribbons, um, what I'm going to do with the pad that we're going to tie, we're going to put in here, I'm going to lay a ribbon here and glue it and come around and tie it so the pages don't, you know, bend. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me for the second part. I'm actually going to continue on. I'm going to, um, I'm planning on putting both parts up at the same time. So, I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to keep on working. Bye-bye.